Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And on today's video I'm not gonna be working on my truck, it's gonna be another product video review. Last year I got an air compressor for myself, I made a couple of videos about it and I really liked it. And I really like this air compressor, I mean I already installed it on my shelf over here and I've been using it multiple times. This air compressor by All Top Accessory and I really liked it, it worked great, I use it multiple times when I need to inflate, deflate my tires, it works great. But this time around one of my friends they needed an air compressor so they got the air compressor, so they got the same brand air compressor All Top but this one is slightly different and slightly better so let me show you guys so i asked my friend can i have it to do a video review of it because i wanted to check it out myself so he gave it to me so let's do a quick unboxing of this uh, box great we got another box and as you can see already on the picture it's an air compressor with an air tank it's a 1.5 gallon air tank or six liters and right here all the stats if you want to read it it has a 40 minute duty cycle at 40 psi and it's rated for 150 psi i'm not gonna bore you with all the specifications of it i'm just gonna include the link in the description for this air compressor you guys can all read it but right here it shows what it comes with it comes with uh, the air hose it has a pressure gauge it has a pressure valve control and this one comes with a tire deflator gauge as well so this is much better deal and there is the air compressor with the air tank so right off the bat we have a manual with few connections over here to inflate different assortments not only can you use for trucks but can you use for bicycles for your beach volleyball and all kinds of other stuff comes with a pretty long hose unlike my air compressor this one also comes with a tire deflation kit and you can constantly check how much air pressure you have you don't have to run to your compressor, turn it off, use something else to check the tire pressure, this is pretty nice ah, uh, I wish I can even keep this one <laughs> and there is compressor itself now what's cool about this air compressor if you don't want to have it carrying around with a tank I mean you can mount it inside your truck but depends you can always just quickly disconnect it just unplug this then these four pins you just push them in twist them, unplug this plug and you can simply take this off and carry it just like that have it in your truck if you don't want to have the tank with you which has also built-in handle how awesome is that? and <laughs> yeah this is a pretty amazing setup and unlike my air compressor this one already has a built-in pressure switch so whenever it reaches presumably 150 psi it's gonna shut off but for now I'm gonna put this all back but enough of me talking let's put it to use guys so let's check how many psi I have with my tire, I should have around 35 psi but let's check it and yeah sure enough I have 35.8 psi that's pretty good let's see if we can deflate the tire now just simply press this and the air is going out I'm uncalling this uh, air hose and this is way different from the one I had this feels more flexible, more a little bit more of a quality than the one I had. The other one was a little bit more like a more plasticky, if you know what I mean. So that's a pretty good upgrade as well. So that's I'm gonna just plug in into here. Now the only thing I would recommend over here they have just a, like a bolt, a plug to release moisture from there. But you can replace this for a little valve. I'm pretty sure you can find something at like Home Depot, Lowe's or some plumbing supply to have a valve in there make sure it's airtight well so you don't have to unscrew this at any given time you can just open it to release any moisture that you might have in there but other than that everything else looks good so I released the air pressure to about 10 psi this is a 33 size tires so they're pretty big I mean they're not the biggest but still so they take a lot of air and we have about 11 10 psi about 11 psi in there so let's see how long it's gonna take it to re to fill it up from 11 psi to 35 psi I can definitely see already a tire going up so that's pretty good alright and it took us about 2 minutes and 6-7 seconds to fill up to from 
about 11 psi to 35 psi on 285, 75, 16 tire. It's a pretty big tire. So it filled up my tire, no problem. Took about two minutes, but it got filled up. But now I'm gonna put it to a bigger test. I'm gonna try to fill up the rear tires of my work van, which takes 80 psi. So let's see if this compressor can fill those tires up and how long it's gonna take. So right now I have about 70 psi, I'm actually low. So let's release some more air and we're gonna see how long it's gonna take to fill up these tires. This switch has three positions and whenever you have it connected to the tank, it has to be on that all the way in and there. That means it's gonna work with the air pressure switch. As soon as it reaches certain PSI, it's gonna shut off. If you keep it in the middle, it's gonna be just off. If you turn it all the way here, it's not gonna turn off, it's gonna be keep running and running, building out the pressure until this air release is gonna start releasing some air pressure. So as you can see, this tire is pretty much flat. Uh, I have maybe about 20 psi in it, not even that, 17 psi, but let's assume it's flat. <laughs> because in, for these tires, it's almost nothing. So let's see how long it's gonna take to fill up this tire. Just always make sure you connect to the battery and make sure the truck or car is running. So I'm gonna start up the timer again and it's probably gonna take a long time so I'm not gonna record all of that. I'm gonna, just gonna record whenever it's up to 80 psi. So let's go. All right, and it took four minutes, 45 seconds to fill it up from, from nearly flat tire to 80 psi. I think that's not too bad. The important part that this air compressor was capable of filling up the bigger pressure tires, which is 80 psi. And there you go, guys. That concludes of the review of this product. We tested it, it fills out big tires and with a lot of pressure, no problem. It takes a little bit of time, like any other compressor, but it, it works. And by having the air tank, it delivers more flow at right of the start. And unlike my air compressor, this one already comes with a built-in pressure switch, so that's great. And it has this nice deflator kit. You can check the air pressure right away. You don't have to shut off the compressor, put something else to test it and then continue this is very convenient. So I'm pretty sure my friend cannot wait to get this back to install it on his truck. <laughs> All right, guys, the test is complete. The air compressor works great. It filled up my tire, no problem. Took about two minutes to fill it up from 10 psi to 35 psi. And the work van from nearly a flat tire, it got filled up to 80 psi, no problem. Took about four and a half minutes, but it got filled up. That's the important part. The air pressure switch works on it great. It shuts off. The tire gauge works as well. It's very easy, very convenient. You just sit there, you monitor how many PSI you currently have. You need more, you need less. Works great. So I'm happy with it and I'm happy that my friend is happy. As always, I'm gonna leave all the links in the descriptions to this video, to this air compressor and the one I use. So, so far, I'm very pleased with this brand. They haven't failed me yet. So on this note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you might find it helpful. And as always, until next time, everybody, bye.